What is going on guys? I am back with another reaction to Vikings. Last episode, ugh, I cannot believe the seer's gone. I mean, like, I know that there there had to be a way for Floki to kind of come back into the mix as far as Kattegat goes, but, I mean, damn! There's a lot that went down. I am really excited for this episode. I just want to dive right in. Let's go. Is he doing this in secret? Is that considered a proper burial? If he's gone, we need to find him. Otherwise, the gods are not gonna- You cannot know. speak on behalf of the gods, if you did. Only I can. <sighs> I know. I know. Never hesitate. <laughs> that reminded me of Ragnar for some reason. The gods have always <coughs> lived amongst us. It will not affect your lives. It will not change anything. Except that you are all entitled to be proud that you are ruled over by a god. I kind of feel like Fitzurk is like in shock at how far he at how far Ivar's going you know but I am hoping that Fitzurk is playing things smart because he, Ivar is ruthless he'll kill his brother so um he just needs to be careful like still still kind of call him out on his shit but not so much and so often like that's I'm happy that he didn't say anything then because that just would have been too much and Ivar would have probably felt that he had to, you know, prove a point or something, you know? Almost as you should. Almost. I know she fucked Bjorn and everything, but I like how supportive she's being My lord. With, with Alfred. Okay. We are on the eve of battle. You should wear your arm ring, as well as your cross. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you need the protection of their god and of ours. See, Torvi gets it. Like, you just, you know, if you want to believe, believe, but you kind of have to play along right now. I must renounce our love. I don't understand what has happened. The Lord came to me last night. Trickster? He showed me a vision. Yes. But it was just a dream. No. In my vision, the Lord our God spoke to me. He told me that I must renounce my sinful ways once and for all, or I would never see his divine face. He didn't see what I saw. You can't do this. You can't do this to me. I thought you loved me. Yeah, and on the eve of the fucking battle, Fuck anybody up. Your soul. <laughs> Whatever that is, meant more to you than I ever could. I don't really feel like having a soul is religious, so you gotta love your soul. <laughs> you need to find your courage. You need to believe in me, but you need to believe in yourself, or you're not fit to wear that crown. What? We risk killing our own men. Do you want to win? My lord, can I hurt? Yes, sir. You'll not be leaving with us today. Why not? Because you are arrested. For treason. We have good account of your touch. Believe me, my lady, I am innocent of these vile accusations. Perhaps 
you're right. But still, we must test your innocence. We will torture you to see if you're telling the truth. Damn, Judith! And that was your mistake, my lord. Thinking me a gentle lady. This is Jan Olofsson. He has been at York. And this is his wife, Gunhild. Oh, I remember fighting at York. What a time we had. Oh, by the gods. The exploits of the great army are still remembered and celebrated in York. King Alfred's army will not be so easy to overcome as you suppose. It may be better we find a compromise. Why would you want a compromise? Because I am a Christian. Oh, shit. I have been baptized. What kind of compromise? Tell us the weight you need in gold and silver to go and leave Wessex. Something completely unreasonable. Very well. We'll come back tomorrow and I will tell you and your Christian friends what you must pay. I can't believe he fucking told him. Were you part of a conspiracy to overthrow my son, Alfred? No. No, my lady. Please, please. Think again. Oh. I need to know, my lord. <laughs> Savage. Is the other son of Ragnar Osbrook? Yes. And you want to fight against your brothers? Yes. I'm not a Saxon, I'm not Christian, I'm Viking. I didn't want to fight alongside King Alfred. So the king is with his army. Oh. At least you have taught me something useful. Oh. Shit, so he's There's gonna... no news. No one has come. Of course not. They're not going to come. God works in mysterious ways. Each one of you, ask yourselves, do you know his ways? Is this the end of King Harold? Holy oh, no! oh, shit! Let us pray. Dude, this music! It's making me emotional for fucking nothing. Still such a badass. Damn, he's a pretty good fighter.
loss of this great and noble man. Retreat, boy. Retreat. with a beautiful certainty that the day and the battle had belonged to us! My mother always carried Thor's hammer around her waist. I don't think we are going to find her. Seriously? Those who wish to overthrow and kill you, I know their names. Then we can arrest and hang them. What? Ithorred oh. is the leader. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't think he would be revealed. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, my God. Dude, I cannot believe they killed the bishop. I loved him. He was a great character, even though, like, I was a little bit worried he'd be the trickster. He wasn't. He wasn't. And like the way he like called out to Lagatha. Oh my god. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna start crying now. Uh, I'm so sad. And the way that they edited the whole battle and Alfred talking, like that was done so great. Like, <laughs> and the music, like everything was so beautiful. It really brought me back to like, like old school Viking, you know, like the way they used to do the battles, like really intense and just, just deep. I don't know how to explain it. Judith finding out that Aethelred was the leader. I thought he was just part of it, not like the actual leader. I know that he obviously had to be the one to call the shot to, you know, set off the whole mutiny or whatever, but I only thought that because, of course, he's the brother. I just can't help but think, like, he started doing something bad, but he chose not to do that something bad. That counts. That fucking counts. I don't know what he's gonna do. And I'm just, and Lyrotha freaking disappeared, really? Okay. Like, I don't, okay, that's fine. Well, hopefully we find out something else, because that's kind of a weird exit. As much of a pain in the ass as he is, I was seriously getting worried for uh, King Harold. Just, I like him, like, he's annoying, but like, I like him as a character. And I'm hoping that, you know, he kind of gathers his strength again, and I kind of want him to go up against Ivar. I want Ivar to kind of snap out of this I'm a god thing, and get brought back down to earth you know <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one